give all honor and glory and power to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, I'm going to say double honors to our elders, our great apostles, great men, strong, who will teach well, being great example to Israel, man, dear elect. All right, I'm going to say peace and blessing to the hope that lack on the four corners, pushing in truth and sincerity. All right, that great song. All right, we the GMS Memphis Count. We come week in, week out, in season, out of season. Once again, I write the prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom known as America, Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, the whore, who ought to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, this is prophecy, which was spoken and warped told by the prophets through the spirit of power you have by Shemal Shah. All right, guess what? It's coming down the pipe, man. All right, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Our salvation is nearer than we believe. So we come out here to prophesy, to warn our people, also to fish for the elect, to see the elect, for the Lord has may be revealed. And guess what? We can get up out of here. All right, because it's written. Once this gospel be preached on the four corners of the earth and the elect gets sealed, guess what? The end gonna come. The end talking about what? The destruction. World War III, all right? Which consists of America, America man. Russia, China, Italy, Japan, North Korea, Iraq, Iran, all right, all these nations, man. All right, it's gonna be a, 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 a big gumbo pot. All right, a missiles, man. All right, coming what? To America, Babylon the Great. We're gonna get into it. I hope brother and sister be edified. You know why we let it loud down, man. But yeah, brother, hold it. Um, got it. Second Peter. Got it. Three started at uh, six. Come This is Second Peter, chapter three, starting at verse six. What about the world? So like it, this is 2 Peter 3 and 6, whereby the world that then was right. being open. It's speaking about before the Lord flooded the earth with water. All right, remember, it's all types of worlds, man. The Lord didn't destroy the earth. He destroyed their what? Dominion. All right, their rulership. All right, he destroyed the whole what? He flooded the whole earth. All right, go ahead. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water. Right, that was the first death. All right, and that's why you see the rainbow in the sky. All right, when they get done raining, the sun come out, you'll see a rainbow because there was what, a promise from the heavenly father that he'll never ever flood the earth again with water. All right, but on the flip hand side, we got the God of this world, which is the so-called white man. They have flipped it to some wicked. All right, so on earth, it don't represent what it's supposed to represent in the scriptures, man. So guess what? The Lord got to come and do away with that doctrine, man. Do away with that philosophy. Do away with that wicked sign, man. All right? And the Lord will. You got it out. This is 2 Peter 3 and 6. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water right. perished. It perished. Go ahead. But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word. By the same word, go ahead. Are kept in store, reserved. Hey, it's kept in store and it was reserved. So Babylon and Great was what? Reserved, man. It was put on hold for this particular time that we coming to now. All right, it was actually put on hold. The Lord said, no, I'm gonna say this. All right, because this is gonna be the destruction. All right, why? Because that was the promise from eyes to who Esau. All right, that he gonna have the fatness of the earth he gonna have the doors of heaven. Meaning what? He was gonna have the rulership. He was gonna have the dominion at the end before what? The kingdom of heaven come. So it was preserved, man. Go ahead. Kept in store. Reserved unto fire. What? Reserved unto fire. Yeah, it was reserved unto fire. Which is what? The second death. All right? So Babylon the Great, man. America is restored for what? Fire. That's right. Thermonuclear missiles along with the chariot, the so-called UFOs. UAPs, all right, that our people think aliens is flying in them. Which is, that's our salvation be here, man. All right, them the angels sent from the Heavenly Father. Go ahead, all right. Reserve unto fire against the day of judgment. What? The day of what? Judgment. See, that's what it's all about. This is about the day of judgment. The Lord coming back to judge these people, man. Judge us too. That's why I say, You'll be, you'll be judged whether you did wrong or what? Or uh, good. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You're going to be judged, man. Go ahead. Finishing off. Reserve unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. See? Because remember, when you're going to 
Isaiah, all right, the 65th chapter, the 63rd chapter, 66th chapter, it speaks about how the Lord comes with fire and his chair is like a whirlwind. He render his anger and his grief with flames of fire. Why? Because that's a part of the way the Lord judged me. See, that's his, that's his indignation of what? His righteous anger. And he got a place to part of the people. Why? Because our people disobeyed him. And still to this day, they still disobey the Lord. You know, they still not hearken to the voice of the prophet. Alright, so what's gonna happen? The Lord's gonna bring discretion. Alright? But this the end all be all uh with, with fire. Alright? Because this is how this land gonna be cleansed. AKA America, man. It's gonna be cleansed through fire, man. Go ahead, now. Verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Right. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. It's a thousand years. So who knows what time we in? But we can tell by the sign what times we in. Because who really knows? Is it really 2022? Do we really know? But one thing we do know, that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. There's one thing we do know, that our salvation is nearer than we believe. There's one thing we do know. How we know that? Because of what's happening. Yep. All right? And then, guess what? All through history, through the media, through the news, we can dissect through the scriptures. Oh, okay. I know what time we're in. We're close. And not the end, but guess what? We're close. So what amount of person are we to be? You see? Our conduct, our conversation, our mannerism, you know what I'm saying? Our thoughts, our walk. You see? Because what? This is the time that the Lord been to visit the world which he made. And we had to understand how the Lord going to visit the world. So why be on the bad end of that stick? You see, when you know. Go ahead, Doc. But beloved, this is 2 Peter uh, 3 and 8. Yeah. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Yeah, see, the Lord made a promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. All right? That he's going to get a kingdom. All right, to Israel. Start with Yahweh Shah, man. That was a promise. And also, he made a promise that he was going to destroy Edom. It's written all through the scriptures. Right. It's written all through the law. All right? That Esau is going to get what he deserved for his wrongdoing. Nature itself teach you that. What goes around comes around. See, but well, here it is, through the love doctrine, Christianity, Jake want to turn the cheek. Jake want to say, hey, 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 we, we forgive you. But well, here it is, you just step on the shoe, he ready to kill you. Explain that. Fucking hypocrite, man. What so-called white man do, it's all good. Oh, you just, it's, it's okay, I'll wipe it off. You know, you can tell you that we're in the curses. To let you know, Father, who he's talking about. The children of Israel, man. Go ahead and read it again, bro. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and 9. Uh -huh. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises. Right, the Lord not slack concerning his promise. Though it tarry, wait for him. Though it seem like the Lord, all right, not uh, coming. Though it seem like he don't care about you. That's been in the scripture. Run and grab that. Uh, uh, James, what that is? Uh, uh, that, that's my guy, ain't it? This is Malachi chapter 1 and 3. Go ahead. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Verse 4. Whereas it have said, we are impoverished. Wow. Let's start up some. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I said, that's the point. Too. All right, good. This is Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord, you how about she may have a shot. Yeah, the Lord said he loved us. You see? He had mercy on us, man. The Lord still chose us. We still Israel at the end of the day. All right? So the Lord had loved us. He gave us what? The laws that you was He gave us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. 
See, he gave us a guide to conduct ourselves upon earth, which the other nation do not have. That's right. You see, when you go into Psalms, the one of, uh, what did it, the uh, 147 chapter, man? All right, he gave what? He showed his all statues uh, to what? Israel, man. So that, that's, that's what? That's love. Okay, go ahead, bro. This is Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye said, where hast thou loved us? Right, that's the mind of a nigga. You know, that's the mind of a Christian. God don't love us. If he did, why are we in this position? Read. Listen. There's a reason why we're going through what we're going through. You see? It's called what? Chastisement. It's called a punishment. Which is saying Baruch. The Lord said, oh, you got it. Uh, Baruch 4. Real quick, I... Uh, Baruch 4. No, Baruch 4 the top. Uh, right, yeah, six. This is Baruch chapter 4, oh, yeah. verse 6. Oh, yeah. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. Right, exactly. See, we were sold to the nation, but not for our destruction. The Lord has sent, to, sent us here in America, all right, to be destroyed, to be wiped away clean. The Lord didn't do that, man. He sent to her, us here to repent. All right, he put fire on our ass, which is the, the trials of tribulation. All right, and guess what? He telling us to return back to him. Now, because he coming to deliver us, man. He coming to save us out of what's really coming. All right, that's the thing. The Lord trying to uh, 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 warn us and preserve us, man. But we will, but we will not partake in the sins of Babylon. But Jake don't have to understand it because Jake don't read or Jake will not listen to the prophets. Because your pastor not going to tell you why you're in the predicament you're in. All right? The deacon not going to tell you. But guess what? You got the prophets. All right? The true teachers, the true leaders, warning you and telling you why you're in the position you're in and how can you get out that position. This is why. All right? If you want to come out of that, that, that down south state of mind, in that darkness, you gotta hearken to the voice of the Lord. That's right. All right, you gotta change your way. You gotta change your thinking. You gotta change your thought pattern. See, you gotta change a lot of things, man. All right, in order to receive the spirit of your high by Shimon Shah, because he ain't dealing with no any old nigga, man. That's why Jake begin to twist it. The Lord not dealing with no nigga, man. That's why you gotta be clean. That's why the wisdom says she tried you with all crooked ways. Then you start to be perfect for the Lord, man. All right? When you stop, you let go certain things. You know, when you start to practice and, and keep the custom, all right, rehearsing the righteous acts. But go ahead, Doc. But because he moved the most high to rob. Right, we moved, we moved the Lord to rob. That's why we, we in the position we in. We were serving other gods. All right? Just like these right here, the, the Greeks. All right, worship other idols. All right. You see? And they're going to be punished for it. They don't, they don't want to serve the Lord. They want to serve these Greek idols, man. That's why our people are going to be punished. That's why two-thirds of our people are going to burn. All right? Because they're choosing what other gods, which our father have not known. Go ahead, Doc. You were delivered unto the enemies. Right. We were delivered unto the enemy. Who is the enemy? The so-called white people. Our oppressors. Go ahead. For you provoke him that made you by sacrificing unto the devil. See that? Now you understand. I'm like, okay then, because the truth was that set you free, right? So now you got the understanding why you're going through the hell you're going through. Because we disobey him. We worship other God. Now, how can we come back to the Lord? You see? Because one thing about it, if brother can grab it in Ecclesiastes 2, I mean 12, and um, I think 13 to 12, for the most high, keep his commandments. Yeah, yeah. yeah grab it real quick. Because it's a way, it's a way you can come back and serve the Lord. This is a clean. Right? Because when you, when you recognize this, you really get it in your mind, and it start to break down, you'll understand. This what the Lord require of us, man. This one thing the Lord required his men. Go ahead, bro. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Right. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. 
But this is the whole duty of man. Exactly. You see? The most high keep this commandment because that's all we were sent here to do. Give praise and honor and reference to who? You have about Sharon Shah. Because they, they, they received the glory. All right? So that's, that's what the Lord required of us because what? That's what's pleasing unto the Lord. All right? And then when you learn from that, you go to Psalms 119 and 9. All right? And it tells you how can a man cleanse his way? By what? Taking heed to the word. Then when you start taking heed to the word, you start to what? Rehearse the righteous acts. You start to put away things. You start to gain things, man. Spiritual things. Fleshly going out the door. Spiritual coming in the door. You know, that's that's our mind state. What's coming? It gotta be prepared, man. Remember, we gotta walk as children of light, man. Not in darkness no more. That's that old man which was corrupt. Now we put on that new man that's incorruptible, man, through the spirit of your high shot. But well, go ahead, back to that Malachi. Come. So this is back in Malachi, okay, come. chapter one and two. I have loved you, saith the Lord, you have by Shimei how it's shot. Yeah, see, the Lord have loved us. And he even gave us the, a king because he loved us. But let me see if I can grab that real quick. I know it's in uh, first king. So I'm going to read this again. This is Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei HaWashah. Right. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Right. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Yeah. Saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob. Yeah, exactly. He loved Jacob. And this is uh, 1 Kings 10 and 9. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, thy power. Which delight in thee to set thee on the throne of Israel because the Lord Yahweh loved Israel forever. You see, the Lord loved us, man. But through the disobedience, just like your mom or your father, they love you. But when you go out, you disrespect them, or you do something that they told you don't do, guess what? They gotta put that put that spanking on your ass. You know, they gotta correct you. And it's the same way how the heavenly father. Dealing with us, man. Dealing with the children of Israel right now. Right. All right? We went through slavery, hardcore punishment. He tore our ass up. Right now, we in a place of what? Repentance. Meaning what? We in the room thinking about it. As the king, we go outside. And going outside is representation of what? The kingdom of heaven. Being free. Being delivered. You see that? But the Lord's coming to do that. But it's a process of time that all these things got to be fulfilled. And we living in that time of deliverance. You know, and the brother Hall Ecclesiastes uh, uh, five on that is a time of, for everything. Go ahead, brother. Uh, but I think that's it on that. Really I right, go back to that Peter. Ah, oh, no, get your precept out. Yeah, yeah, get your precept. This is back at first Peter. This is Second Maccabees chapter six, verse twelve. Now I beseech those that read this book. Woo! That they be not discouraged for these calamities. I read it again. This is 2 Maccabees chapter 6, verse 12. Now I beseech those that read this book that they be not discouraged for these calamities. Right, exactly. Now get that word discouraged. All right, are these what? Calamities. Remember, the Lord said all these things got to happen. You see, all these things got to be fulfilled for what? The Lord entered to the earth and to deliver the elect. You know, so through the process, all right, that we constantly eating this roll and digesting this, by the time come, we'll have a true understanding. Okay, we'll have the faith. We'll have the fear of the Lord that if we do, you know what I'm saying, get in a certain situation, our faith going to make us what? Be a sin. Through faith, remember, through faith, man, the faith is what? Faith is the key. Because that's how you're getting about it, huh? You gotta have faith. Go ahead, huh? This is discouraging the etymology, the mid-15th century. The pride of or cause to lose courage. See, cause to lose courage. So the Lord said, hey, hey, faint not. Faint not. You know? Hey, I told you that. You had then you got to understand though, Jacob trouble coming. 
two thirds of our people, they don't have the understanding of Jacob trouble coming. So that's why he said he gonna catch him in a thief, like a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. Jacob gonna be shitting their pants, man. But here it is, we cool, why? Because we already had to understand that it was coming. All right, go ahead, Doc. Try to prevent or sow opposition to, to deprive of courage or hope. See, deprive of courage or hope. And the Lord don't want us to have that, man. You see, the Lord's given us the faith. He said, well, he, he gave us not the spirit, all right, but what? The spirit of faith. He didn't give us the fear of, uh, uh, what, what did it say y'all? Trying to remember, huh? Spirit of fear. Yeah, the spirit of fear. Yeah. You know, the doubt. Yeah. yeah. You know? Go ahead, Al. What's going on? Don't keep going, Rob. For these calamities, but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction, but for a chastising of our nation. Exactly, see? So all these lynching and hanging that you see, all right, even though the devil did more than you ever could think of, but in a way, it was for what? A test For a what? A correction. Now we know if we disobey the Lord again, what's going to happen? You see, and it was mercy. Because guess what? Esau, he going to be distinct. The Lord put us in, the Lord got us in time out right now. Oh. As we serve down high court punishment. But Esau, after he get done with his thousand years of hardcore punish, he gonna be distinct. He gonna be done away with. You see the mercy? You see the love? Come on, man. Go ahead, Doc. For it is a token of his great goodness. See, it's the token of his great goodness because the other nation thought we were through. They thought we was gone. And they thought it was no way these Negroes or come back and realize who they are. There's no way. There's no way. We on top of them. Got our, we got our foot on their necks. You know, we, we hurting them each and every way. Everything they got, they get it from us. But somehow, some way, through the Spirit, what did the Lord do? He raised us up. He gave us the name. Gave us the understanding. Now look what we doing. We prophesying, man. The return of our Lord and our deliverance. That's right. See, this is the power you have by Shema Shah that once these other nations had no clue. They praying on our downfall. You, you read Psalms, the 83rd chapter, man. All right, those secret counsels to keep us. All right, not knowing who we are. But guess what? The Lord, man, this is the Lord moving. This is how you know this is the Yahweh by Shema Shah was out here prophesying. We got millions in every other city and state prophesying, man. This is the work of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Go ahead. And what did it say? Uh, in the land of their captivity. Oh, but yeah, so yeah, remember, yeah. I said, yeah, that one. All right, they don't finish. This is Second Maccabees six and thirteen. Yeah. Go ahead, Doc. Second Maccabees six and thirteen. For it is a token of His great goodness right. when wicked doers are not suffering any long time, Ooh. but for with punish. For not as with other nations, right. whom the Lord patiently forbear to punish. Woo. Till they be come to the fullness of their sins. Yes. Exactly. See, and now what the scriptures say, her sins had what? Reached unto heaven. And get what time it is. How to receive her judgment. That's why the scriptures say in Revelation, the uh, the 20th chapter, come out of her. For you be not partakers of her sins. That's right. Because this bitch been a burn. So the Lord giving you a warning. And how can you come out of Babylon? The mind. Because you can't officially lead this bitch. But you can, you can do it what? Mentally. Mm -hmm. Spiritually. All right? And that's what the Lord required. You to lead physically, I mean, mentally and spiritually. Babylon and great, man. Because this is not our rest. We were sitting here for what? A chastise. Correction. Why? Because we disobeyed the Lord. Now, since you got that information and that understanding, what you gonna do about it? You gotta come out here, you know what I'm saying? Lord willing, he can bring you in the fold. These, these, but it take faith. Go ahead, I'll so he did it with us, least they being come to the height of sin, afterwards he should take vengeance of us, and therefore he never could draw his mercy from us. Right, see the Lord said he gonna take vengeance for us, so meaning what, he finna come and take us home. Whether so-called white man like it or not, all right, because he going to put up a fight. 
guess what? The Lord got us. See, the Lord said he better take vengeance, man. So, hey, we're going to be sitting there, probably handcuffed, chained up, or wrapped up. And the Lord going to send an angel, man, to deliver us. Be free. And the Lord going to do what? The elect like that, man. And mm -hmm. one third. All right? Yeah. Though he punished with adversity, yeah. yet do it he never forsake his people. You see, though he punished with adversity because the most I love judgment. Judgment go forth what? Every day. Every morning. Judgment to life. Yeah, man. Every morning. But he still what well, I uh around the end of what the Lord still do? Yet do it he never forsake his people. See, but he'll never forsake us. Alright? Why? Because the Lord is still here, man. He's still with us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He loves us, man. Go ahead with this chapter. Go to the other one. Oh, God. <laughs> this is the uh, Baruch chapter 2, verse 30. Yeah. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. Israel, you Negroes, Latino, Native American, Hispanics, y'all hard headed, man. You know? That's <laughs> they, why the Lord said this is a generation that went seeking for a sign. You know, Jake ain't gonna listen till they see it, till they smell it. You can tell Jake all day, hey, 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 your kitchen on fire. They in the, they in the, uh, they gonna start playing the game. Hell, nah, nigga, don't even smell this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Jake will not listen. They hard headed. But then when he started smelling it, and then the fire thing started to go out. Now tell him, nigga, you one line. Yeah, see. And is that not Jake? That Jake to the teeth. Go ahead, Doc. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. Right, in the land of our captivity, let you know this is still this what? Spiritual Sodom and what? Spiritual Egypt. Let you know, man, we in bondage. We in captivity. We in slavery. All right? Because in the land, what? We remembering ourselves. We knew who we were. All right? We was in the wilderness, man. We knew who we were. So the hell we had to remember ourselves in. We knew who we was when we was in Egypt. So how did we have to remember? It's what? This Egypt, all right, that we had to remember ourselves in this captivity, man, as the scriptures say. When you go into uh, Deuteronomy 20 and 6 to 8, all right, he was going to send us on ship to Egypt, right? You got it? Get it, Deuteronomy 20 and uh, 8, real quick. I mean, Deuteronomy 20 and uh, 6 to 8. This is Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 in verse uh, 6 to 8. This is 28 and 68. And it reads, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships Ooh. by the way whereof I spake unto thee. It's been explained it all right here. Go ahead. In the land of our captivity, we shall remember ourselves. Go ahead, I. Thou shalt see it no more again, right. and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And somebody break that down. If you a bond man or you a bond woman, what that mean? You you a slave. You on the rule of someone. Bound to. <laughs> you see. So it said in the land of our captivity, we shall remember ourselves of meaning what we came over here and put in captivity. Now we remember ourselves because the Lord has scattered us. Did not the Lord say that? I read it again. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Uh, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men men and bond women right. and no man shall buy you meaning what no man shall redeem you because the only one can come and buy us and redeem us is who Yahweh shot mm -hmm. because he is our redeemer he is our savior you don't see moab or Ammon, the other nations putting up a fight for the negroes latino they made in spanish if they did they would have this shit a long time ago <laughs> you see that but here it is we still what yesterday in our captivity you think that really give a damn about us no man all they want is our money. That's it. Our money and our women. That's all they want, man. They don't give a the other nation don't care about us, man. So guess what? We gotta return a favor and righteousness, man. This is this is 
Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Right, we yet this day in our captivity, man. Go ahead. But thou hast scattered us for a reproach and for a curse and to be subject to payment. See that? Uh, what? To be what? Subject to payment. For well, what? A curse. A curse. Going right back to what? Deuteronomy 28 chapter, man. Now you're starting to realize why you're in a position, you better off. Not going to what? How can we get out? How can I get out of this situation? You know? That's how you gotta do what you gotta be. You gotta ask yourself. Now that I know how I got punished, let me see how can I be delivered? Or how can I get out of this situation I'm in? You got some out. Yeah. Okay. This is subject in the etymology, the early 14th century. A person under control or dominion of another. You said what? A person under control or dominion what? Of another. Of another. Break it down what? Jack the ass still a slave. Hey. <laughs> you know what Jake talking about? Nigga ain't no slave, nigga. I'm free. Come on, Jake. Go ahead. Late 14th century, the verb to make a person or nation subject to another by force. Exactly. Mm. Damn. It wasn't not by force? Damn right. Damn. Is it not a prison house? Are we not prisoners of war? Prisoners of hope? All right, why? Because we were brought over here, all right, by what? Force. Not by choice. Because that's what they want to say in the school system now. Yeah, we volunteer. Volunteer, uh, <laughs> like, like they want to say that we came over here by choice. Like, who would do something like that? Yeah, who would do something? What the hell Volunteer to get whipped. Yeah. Really? <laughs> when, when you had Negroes uh, die, trying to escape the, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the plantation. Yeah. And here they want to say, nigga, just lay down like that? Come on, man. No. By force, man. Yeah, they were jumping off the ships and everything. You hear me? They volunteered, though. They said, then they say they uh, pushed over like 200,000 and sharks, where they, where they pushed them up in on the, on, on the uh, ship, yeah. sharks still swimming up to this day. To this day. Same route. Yeah. Because they know, hey, it, it, it was a feed, feast. Feed time. It was a feast. But guess what? Time coming. They're gonna have to go through the same thing, man. The last scripture said double unto her. Double according to her works. Her works is talking about Babylon the Great Works, man. All right? Which is the the the, the elites, the banker family, all right, which control the earth. The power's in their hand right now. But what? Judgment is coming. And deliverance is coming for who? For the elect, man. One third of the men, women, and children that believe wholeheartedly. You know? Go ahead, bro. Yeah, 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 because hey, God, one and six say that. Yeah, you know. Go, go ahead, bro. According to all the iniquities of our father, which depart from the Lord our power. Yeah, because what they start worship other idols, other God. They stop. They stop keeping the customs. All right, going to when you going to the uh, first Maccabees. All right, they they stop circumcising themselves, man. You know, they all start worshiping the, the, uh, the king. You know, see? What they mean, what? They start transgressing against the laws that you man. Now, here it is. We get this day in our captivity. Yeah. And meaning what? We them same people. We generation. All right? You got something out? Yep. Oh, yeah. This is Daniel chapter 9 and verse 11. Yay! All Israel have transgressed thy law. All right? Even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. You see, we have what? Sinned against the Lord. All right, we and what? We went to what? Serve the idols. Go ahead. Verse 12, and he, and he have confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges, that judged us by bringing upon us great evil. Great evil. And you know what evil represents? Hard times, bad times. All right? So us going into slavery, all right, was what? It was a bad time for you Negroes, man. It was a bad time for us. You see that? Go ahead. But under the whole heaven have not been done 
as has been done upon Jerusalem. You see that? Because you can't name another, another nation ever went in captivity, and this was done up to them. All right, no other nation, but who? You Negroes, man. West Indian, Haitian, all right? Even going uh, with the Northern tribe, man. All right, it's only happened to who? The children of Israel it had never happened to another nation. But guess what, the Lord said what? He, it's a righteous thing to recompense. So meaning what, it's a payback. All right, it's a payback for, for, for what happened to the apple of the Lord's eye, which is what, the children of Israel. All right, but guess what? That was our disobedience. That was our punishment right there. We had to burn that, didn't I say? We gonna burn the Indian nation because we have sinned against him. All right, so that's something that we had to burn. You know, we get mad, but we got what? We gotta follow the scripture. Be ye angry, but what? Seeing not. not. Because when you start to get the understanding of what's going on in this, in this society, you get mad. You know, you start to see certain things that you never saw and had the understanding of, like, oh man, shit, that's what it was. You know, certain legislation he be throwing out in the media, you catch it, look up the word. Like, you know. But Jake don't listen. You gotta go out. Jake don't listen. Because he don't see how it benefit him to listen. You know, Jake like a corner minded man. Uh -huh. You don't show him the benefits of serving and giving his life up and dedicating his life to a purpose. He won't dedicate his life to anything but Satan. And Satan is going to give him everything that his flesh desires. Because Satan is not looking to give up the throne, which he told uh, the Amish shot. This is my king. I give it to you, which in this time it is his king. But the long term goal, when your Amish shot answered him, was he wouldn't have anything if my father had given it to you. So at the end of the day, it's not really yours, it's just yours for a time. We in the time now where the wickedness is being done in the world. having a 